Hello everybody and welcome to another subscriber update video. So we hit 50 subscribers. Yay, confetti, big number 50. Woo! Yeah, we hit 50. It's uh it's very exciting. Last one I did of these was about two months ago, or 25, and now in two months we've doubled, so that's awesome. I'm I'm really happy about that. So just thought I'd give like a, a little update to stuff that's uh, is going on. Um, I mean, not much is changing in as far as like the videos. I'm still trying to put up the kind of the, you know, similar videos. Some a lot of decks, like unique decks. Some I'm leaning somewhat towards uh, some tutorial videos. As you saw, I had like a couple of tutorial things. So I'm I'm branching out a little bit, but still definitely keeping the same. Like, just making a bunch of random decks. Uh, videos are going out. So after the Sharima patch, I've kind of changed my videos, like, uh, output a little bit. I was going for, like, every three days, and then Sharima hit, and I, like, scrambled to put out a bunch of things for Sharima. And now I've started putting out videos, like, every other day. And I'm pretty happy with the every other day. Um, I feel like I'm getting stuff out at, a, at a, like a decent pace and not missing a whole lot of like content. Don't have like huge backlogs of things because beforehand when I was doing um, like every three days or like twice a week, there were a bunch of videos that I wanted to make, but they didn't like fit into the schedule. So I just didn't put them out there. Um, then that can also have the reverse effect. Like if I don't have content, then doing every other day might hurt me a little bit. And so... You might see that in like some videos that might be like a repeat of decks. Maybe I'll do a couple that are just like climbing with one deck. Um, maybe I'll do some more like wacky concepts and things like that. But yeah, that's uh, the general vibe for it. Just wanted to thank you all for the 50 subscribers. And hope to keep growing with you as a community. And now that's so that's like the the 50 subscriber intro sappy stuff, right? Updates, things like that. And now I have been asked by one of my subscribers um, and one of my buddies to help out people how to make thumbnails because he really liked my thumbnails. And so he was wondering like how I make thumbnails, which is a very good, it's just solid because honestly, like I had to do a lot of research on how this is done because I was very confused and like a lot of uh, my own like personal experience kind of stuff to try to figure out how to do thumbnails because I was confused on how people got thumbnails and they, they look decent so I'll run through a quick guide of how I do thumbnails and it's it's really easy so we'll swap over to the program <sighs> all right so we are swapped over so the program I use for thumbnails is photoscape x this is a free version there's obviously like more you can do that the, the pro version has a lot of stuff like you got collage you can do all these weird like collages i use these sometimes we got combined where you can take like two pictures and just like throw them together and now they're like combined um so there's a couple neat things you can do with that you can create gifts which i haven't done so far we can print things i guess i also haven't used it so what i use mostly is uh this editor. So there's like a couple different ways I'll do thumbnails. Either I'll do like a couple um, champions like put together. Like for my um, in-depth guide videos, I often do like this kind of thing for the uh, for the template. And I just take like two champion pictures. Like I want Azir and like Elise, right? And now I have and a Z release and it, it makes it really easy to just kind of combine pictures and what I'll use for my pictures well you can actually find like every picture that you need from the game by just searching on Google for like this picture so if I if I search for like um we'll get rid of this and just go into editor so if I want like an Anivia picture right? like this Anivia picture I just searched lore Anivia art and then this pops up, right? And then just save the image, and then you can play with the image as you like. And this is kind of the basis, right? They like the Legends of Ruterra team puts a lot of great detail into their splash arts, and they already look fantastic. 
And a lot of people don't even look at the splash art. So I, I really like having the splash arts as kind of a, the backgrounds because they, you know, last people look at things and they don't normally do. So let's say we want to, we'll just stick with the Anivia concept, right? So if we want to make an Anivia thumbnail, what we could do here is we got the new picture. And then what I like to do is put a couple other cards on there that are included in it. So like for my Anivia, uh, I did the Anivia with like the hungry pig thing. So we just hit insert in the top corner and then you can drag and drop pictures that you have. So these are all the pictures that I have saved that like I've used, found, etc. So we can take a couple things and just like throw them out. So we got submersible. So you can just drag and drop, like move this in a corner and like Solari Sunforger. Obviously this isn't a real deck because it's three regions, but you know, I'd put like the two cards, something like this, or maybe one over here. And then you can just go here, insert text, and I write whatever I want. Blah, blah, burp. And boom. Thumbnail. And it's it's really as easy as that. It's not a very difficult thing to do these thumbnails because like the art's already there, the card's already there. It's just throwing cards and throwing a, a caption. And there's more options to like to change how the caption looks. Like we can use this overlay thing and now you can throw like some weird markings on it, some like scratches, some like blurred out things. You can, you know, some cool little things. This looks like sand. So some of my Sharima stuff have like this filter over the text. Um, if we want to like change the color of the text, you can do that. You can make it like rainbow and things. There's, you know, a lot of fun stuff you can do with it. And then if you want to so I got a couple pictures here, which are like cutouts of things. Like I have, uh, so it's a, what's a good example one, like the Dreadway, right? Like this is from the original Dreadway picture and it's like cut out because I just wanted the ship. So if we're gonna do that, just take an image that you wanna cut out like the Dreadway or like Elise. If I just wanna cut out Elise, it has some very easy tools for this. We have Magic Eraser, which basically I click and it gets rid of everything of one color. So this is all the same shade, so get rid of all that. We don't want a least to get rid of though. So we can click this lighter stuff and we see it just starts getting rid of the, uh, the lighter material. And mostly what I use is this lasso effect. So this is just literally just dragging your mouse along and it just cuts out everything that you drag. So I like the weird shape, boom, cut out. Just take, cut out. So all the cutout pictures that you see are just me literally going and like tracing, like very obnoxiously tracing with a mouse to try and get the cutouts. And if we like cut here, we all go like this. Uh, so it's not always super accurate because honestly, I don't always care to be super accurate. Most of the time I find out if I have like a general cutout um, that doesn't look like trash, then I'm okay with it. Like I might use this for a cutout. Right, and there we go, boom, and then you just save it. I'm not gonna do that because I don't need at least cut out, but you know, save, easy. And that's pretty much it. That's literally how I make my thumbnails. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot more things to play with and this is the very basic version. Like I said, this has a lot of tools to use if you're not in the free version. The free version, it has like, you can do a lot of these collages and things, but there's also these like pro collages if you have the pro version. Combine doesn't work very well unless you have the pro version because there's like, a combine in general just doesn't actually work very well for um, thumbnails, but you know, there's, there's a lot of neat other things you can do. Like as far as uh, editing, you can do like drop shadow stuff and shapes. But yeah, this is basically it. Now you see how much effort I put into thumbnails. I would say that, I don't know. At first it took a while cause I didn't have the right tool for it. And so I was using like uh, the Windows Media Maker or like the Windows Paint or something like that. And you have to like take image and you import images. Um, and then like you take those yeah, so see right now this image looks like 3D because I added a drop shadow to it. So if I take the drop shadow off, now it doesn't look 3D. Now it does. So 
drop shadows need effect and you have all these fun little effects you can add to it if I want like to make it a circle make an eclipse I can also do that I can put back the original shape um, we can overlay the image with like the weird stuff too so same thing as with text yeah now we got this weird drop image chip thing can change the gradient and oh my god look at that isn't that crazy can make it just white yeah obviously we don't want to do that yeah um yeah using like windows paint or something is is honestly much more annoying the tools for manipulating things like adding boldness to text uh we'll go for like outline how i can make this outline bigger how i can just drag the text to make it bigger like that helps a lot just being able to do that really easily and it's not you know there's definitely some aspects where I see, like, um, I don't know if you watch Grappler, but a lot of his thumbnails are more intricate, and I like, have his face, like, actually, like, photoshopped into the cards. So it looks really cool, but that's definitely something that you need a, a better tool for and outside my capabilities. But if you want to make your own thumbnails, you just saw it, that I can I can make a thumbnail. As long as I have all the cards and stuff downloaded, I can make a thumbnail in, like, a couple minutes. So... It's really easy to do. Just go get a photo editor. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That's how you. That's how I make things. And I don't really know what else to say because I feel like I've been saying that a lot. 50 subscribers. I showed you things. Anyway, back to Big Me. Wow. Big Me. So the next uh, milestone that I really want to hit is 100 subscribers. So that's... That's the next big step. And then after 100 subscribers, it's 250. After 250, 500, you know, we're just, I want to say we're doubling every time, but really not, right? It was 10, and then 25, and then 50, then 100, but not 200, because that's weird. That's 250. Because like 1,000 is the big benchmark, right? That's like crazy. Whoa, we can get monetized at 1,000. So it's kind of like working our way up to that. So yeah. Help me get to the next benchmark, benchmark, you know, tell your friends and then I'll make another one of these videos and you guys can suggest things that you want me to do in this next video because this is literally just me freeballing it and just talking out of my ass. So, you know, maybe I'll throw up a, um, I'll throw up a question in like the public comment section in my uh, channel and I'll throw up like, what do you guys want me to do for my 100 subscriber video? And then you can give me suggestions and... Uh, I know the internet can suggest some weird things, and yes, you guys are the internet, so any super weird things I probably won't do, but if you give me, like, you know, some decent suggestions, I very well could follow through with that, so yeah, let's open up that discussion. And with all that being said, I'll close out the video here. Thank you everyone for your continued support and for watching all my stuff. Export more videos to be coming out at a constant semi-rate. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching. Peace.